Before we get started, you might have noticed that I've turned on the Includes Paid Promotion label for this video. I received my review copy of this game for free from the publisher. Although no money or other goods changed hands, I still think it's best practice to explicitly disclose this information. Additionally, while I'm not personally acquainted with Scrubs, the developer of this game, I have showcased his creations before on this channel, and he is an active channel member. With this outlined, let's begin the review. Super Funky Bowling is an achievement for more than one reason. Not only is it an extremely satisfying and addictive arcade ball rolling game in the vein of Super Monkey Ball and Kororimpa, but also the premiere Made with Fuse release on Nintendo Switch eShop. Made with Fuse is the publishing label given to releases developed in Fuse 4 Nintendo Switch, a powerful consoleized coding application first released back in 2019. It was within Fuse for Nintendo Switch that Super Funky Bowling was first created and remained its singular home up until this standalone release. This feels significant as enthusiasts, hobbyists, or first-time developers may now have a way to create a game entirely on their Switch that goes on to release worldwide on Nintendo's digital storefront. On to the game itself. The mechanics of Super Funky Bowling are simple. Use the left stick to tilt the world around you and safely guide your bowling ball to the goal. Additionally, there are collectible pins along the route that you have to strike in order to unlock the exit and proceed to the next level. There are three starting worlds unlocked when you first boot the game with eight levels each. Each of these worlds introduces new mechanics and progressively demands a little more precision and dexterity to reach the goal. Tougher levels require some serious trial and error especially when you're aiming for the best times, but thanks to the instant restart triggered by simply pressing the L and R buttons, it's painless to do so. New levels load in almost instantaneously, which is wonderful for keeping the flow of action. I found myself repeatedly saying, ah, I've got time for just one more level, over and over again, thanks in part to this feature. The amount of strategy enabled by the deceptively complex physics engine opens up potential for a huge amount of truly wild techniques. Later stages require you to launch the ball by flicking the world at just the right time, and glancing pins rather than slamming directly into them allows you to keep momentum and launch further, making Super Funky Bowling a speedrunner's paradise, something that the developer has clearly intended and fully embraced given the inclusion of a speedrun mode that adds a run timer UI element. Different color medals are granted for beating certain times, and these, for the most part, are perfectly balanced. I typically earned a silver medal on my first or second completion of a level in the starting wards, but a gold requires quite a bit more effort. Once you've obtained enough gold medals in one world, you will unlock a B world with a brand new set of levels and a whole raft of medals to go along with them. In my experience, these offer quite significant jumps in difficulty and require some serious hand-eye coordination too, but the satisfaction in completing them is phenomenal. Graphically, the game is fairly bare bones. The textureless platforms, hand-drawn skybox and hyper-real bowling ball create a charming and distinct look. The music for each of the worlds is also very catchy, without ever grating for extended periods. Important, while you're replaying the same level, to grind out those new high scores. My only real complaint with the gameplay, which may seem like a nitpick at first, but did somewhat affect my overall enjoyment, was the lack of shadow for the bowling ball. I often found myself over or under shooting landings, and I think a simple shadow below the ball would have helped mitigate this. Other games in this genre will often use a shadow under the player character to help with depth perception, and I missed that here. It's actually a toggleable option in the original Fuse 4 release, but seems to have been omitted here for technical reasons. All in all, Super Funky Bowling is a very enjoyable game, packed with content at a very reasonable price point. I look forward to seeing more of what Scrubs does next, and I hope to see more Made With Fuse titles in the future. Super Funky Bowling is available to purchase from Nintendo Switch eShop for $2.99 and is available from later today if you're watching this right as the video goes live. That's everything for today, Buh bye bye